Welcome to Kimmer's Gaming. Today we will talk about one of the most popular and ingenious game made for Atari 2600 console called River Raid. River Raid is a vertically scrolling shooter designed and developed by Carol Shaw and published by Activision in 1982 for the Atari 2600 video game console. Over a million game cartridges were sold. Activision later ported the title to the Atari 5200, ColecoVision, and Intellivision consoles, as well as to the Commodore 64, IBM PC Jr., MSX, ZX Spectrum, and Atari 8-bit family. Sure did the Atari 8-bits and Atari 5200 ports herself. Activision published the less successful River Raid II in 1988. This sequel, programmed by David Lubar, has similar gameplay, but with a different landscape and increased difficulty. In 1995 River Aid was published for Microsoft Windows as part of Activision's Atari 2600 Action Pack. Coming on to its gameplay. Viewed from a top-down perspective, the player flies a fighter jet over the river of no return in a raid behind enemy lines. The player's jet can only move left and right, it cannot maneuver up and down the screen but it can accelerate and decelerate. The player's jet crashes if it collides with the riverbank or an enemy craft, or if the jet runs out of fuel. Assuming fuel can be replenished, and if the player evades damage, gameplay is essentially unlimited. The player scores points for shooting enemy tankers which is of 30 points, helicopters which is 60 points, fuel depots giving 80 points, jets procuring 100 points, and bridges which gives 500 points. The jet refuels when it flies over a fuel depot. A bridge marks the end of a game level. Non-Atari 2600 ports of the game add hot air balloons that are worth 60 points when shot as well as tanks along the sides of the river that shoot at the player's jet. Destroying bridges also serve as the game's checkpoints. If the player crashes the plane they will start their next life at the last destroyed bridge. Now let's discuss its technical design. For its time, River Raid provided an inordinate amount of non-random, repeating terrain despite constrictive computer memory limits. The game program does not actually store the sequence of terrain and other objects. Instead, a procedural generation algorithm manifests them by employing a linear feedback shift register with a hard-coded vector. Because this starting value is hard-coded, the algorithm generates the same game world every time the program executes. The enemy crafts AI, however, relies on a random number generator to make enemy movement less predictable. Coming on to its market reception. Info World in 1983 stated that River Aid might be the best Atari 8-bit game of the year, more challenging than any VCS version and superior to others like Caverns of Mars. The Deseret News in 1984 called River Raid one of the most playable and entertaining of all war games. The newspaper gave the ColecoVision version four stars, recommending it to all console owners and describing it as a definite winner all the way. The game received the award for 1984 Best Action Video Game and a Certificate of Merit in the category of 1984 Best Computer Action Game at the 5th Annual Archie Awards, where the judges described it as providing the brand of non stop excitement The Blast Brigade as a door. River Aid was the first video game to be banned for minors in West Germany by the Federal Department for Writings Harmful to Young Persons. In 1996, Next Generation listed the Atari 2600 version as number 81 on their top 100 games of all time, commenting that, nostalgia aside, the 2600 sucks. But this game is still great, for one main reason, level design, that is all for now. If you like this content then don't forget to like, subscribe and follow Kimmer's Gaming.